Good morning, guys. So today we want to present to y'all some information about homesickness and freshmen. Uh, my name is Peyton Ginzel. I'm a sophomore in the college. I'm a biology major. And um, my name is John Song. I'm an econ major. All right. So first, we want to start off with a question: How do y'all think about homesickness, and what would how would you define it? Definitely missing um, the people that are back home. Okay, good. Um, actually, uh, the, uh, I mean, that's, that's <laughs> obviously correct, but um, the definition of homesickness is the distress that one feels when they're separated from home or something that they're really familiar with. And um, it's actually an, an adjustment disorder that's characterized by distress, depression, anxiety, and even just an obsessive preoccupation with something that you're super familiar with. And um, there have been many studies, like all over, like all over many uh, universities, and, uh, such as the Department of Rehabilitation Medicine at the University of Washington. And um, they showed that you know it has a real effect. Homesickness has a real effect on students, and um, it, if it's not treated earlier on, then it can grow to be a much bigger problem. Um, so they had this questionnaire for uh, well, many of the college students, and they asked them like, "Why are you homesick?" And pretty much these were the top reasons that they got. And then, uh, so significant others back at home were not with you. And obviously, that adds a lot of stress to your life because uh, you're always worrying or you know just problems. And then your parents are away. You know something that you've always had all your life and now suddenly when you go to college it's such a big shock and you, know, you, you don't have your parents around anymore so that adds a lot of stress to your life and um, you know you have someone goes with roommate problems, tough classes, everything else on this list pretty much adds to the um, how added stress in your life when you're thrown into a completely new environment how that <coughs> adds to your homesickness you know you want to find something that you can that you're familiar with that you're comfortable with that you know you're good at. So uh. <laughs> so if you have homesickness, it's not just the distress that it causes you. It can also infiltrate infiltrate other um, facets of your life. And it can affect um, your sleep pattern, it can affect um, your retention rate and your classes, your memory um, it can cause depression or uh, poor academic performance. And in one of the studies that we looked in one of our papers in Canada, they found uh, when they did a questionnaire of students that had um, homesickness and didn't have had homesickness, they found that the uh, students with homesickness were uh, less had less self-efficacy, so they were like less self-motivated and um, didn't try as hard in school, and obviously that affected their grades. And in this chart we found, um, it was another survey in 2007, they found that 4% of students dropped out of college because of their distance from home and these, their homesickness because of all these factors. So, um, so now you know what homesickness is and um, how it affects you. So now we're going to talk about how to deal with it, like treatment. And um, they don't exactly give you like, medication if you're homesick. But, um, so one thing, one main way they deal with it, they treat it, is by tackling it early. So they actually did this questionnaire for um, a lot of young kids from 8 to 16, which is generally you know, the time when you grow up, you make all these connections with your parents and stuff like that. And um, they found that the best way to fight homesickness was to, uh, they asked them questions, and then the way that they suggested to combat homesickness themselves was to do something fun, like to make connections with other people, and you know, it distracts you a lot from um, a lot of homesick ideas, like you know, missing people, or um, doing something to feel close to home, like they suggested writing letters, maybe not actually going home to see your parents, because that doesn't help with the homesickness, because you're, you're sort of giving in, but if you write letters, it's easier. You know, obviously talking to supportive people and thinking optimistically that relieves some of the stress and then takes away from the homesickness as you grow up. So as a freshman here at Emory, 
some really great ways to combat these homesick um, things that happen to you are um, you can talk to other freshmen in your hall or your RAs and SAs. It's a great way to create a new home here at your new campus and to make your own support system here. And then also if homesickness becomes very um, difficult and um, really stresses you out a lot, there's the counseling uh, service here at Emory that's free to all students. It's in the biology, um, biology building. It's very easy to make an appointment online. Um, I would suggest if you're homesick not to stay just in your dorm room. You need to get out there and meet new people and not hate, like hold yourself in. Um, homesickness is all about thinking about other things and creating a new network and new familiarity. Um, um, also, joining clubs and teams, as John was saying, like um, get involved. There's no excuse not to get involved in Emory. We have over 300 organizations and teams here. A lot of people say their teams or their sorority fraternity is their new family here at school. Um, maintaining a healthy lifestyle is very important because if you, your diet gets thrown off or you stop exercising, and that's what you normally used to do at home, then it can throw off your whole like, lifestyle. And when you have that, then it makes you even more stressed and can add to the homesickness. Um, and then also just keeping a healthy amount of contact with home is very important. You don't want to be constantly texting and like just stuck on your phone and talking to only people at home. Um, it, a lot of research suggested having a scheduled time once a week to talk to parents, maybe Skype call or something like that. So. Now to bring it all home, um, homesickness happens to everyone. It is easily treated with optimistic thoughts and actions. If it's not treated, it can become a, a big deal when it starts um, being detrimental to your college experience or to your academic performance, but thankfully there's a lot of options here on campus at Emory that can help you with that. All home students. Is any questions? I pretty much just take home that uh, it's, it's not a problem if you treat it well, but if you don't, then it can be a serious problem for young adults. 